Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my Final Fantasy 7 Remake walkthrough. This is part 17, and we are right outside Wall Market, so I guess we'll just jump straight into it, shall we? Let's see here. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Oh, Midgard thank you so much, kind sir. For everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. All right. Uh, let's go towards the objective, I guess. Uh, let's see here. You know what? Uh, I'll need to take a look at the weapon. Who was that? Uh the weapon shop later and see if we can buy something new. Check it out. Uh, oh wow. I think we Interesting looking place, him. dude. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Okay. Who is this Don Corneo? I know who it is <laughs> from the original game, but you know. <laughs> Let's see how he looks like now. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't really meet him just yet, but uh yeah, let's take a quick look. What's up? Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah, so? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe, but you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kind of cute. Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kind of cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. The trio, huh? Okay. I guess we'll go talk to them and see what happens. Let's go. Madame M. Hmm. The trio. Aerith. You sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But, to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Okay, Johnny. Hmm. Uh, who do we start with first? But you know what? Let me just take a quick look here. Uh, let's see. If there's a new weapon here, at least for. S uh, oh, nice! Hard edge. We'll get that. Thank you very much. Let me just equip it as well. Yeah, we did get that bat in a couple of videos ago as well, but Cloud is not a bat kind of guy in my opinion. We need a sword. But yeah, I'll leave a link down in the description as usual if you guys would like to check out the previous episode, how we got to this point, you know, or perhaps from the beginning of this series, you know. Final Fantasy 7 the remake has been one hell of a nice well, journey so far. Experience as well. I mean, the gameplay, the... Well... Storyline is fantastic. 
So I highly do re recommend this game to you guys. Even though you haven't played the original one, this is still one hell of an amazing masterpiece, in my opinion. Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Hmm, that's very true. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we'll... Enter, here we go. Good evening. Oh. Uh, hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh. We don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Okay, so Andrea Rodea was an Ogo. Uh, I guess we'll maybe meet him later at some point. Or her, I'm not sure if it's a woman or a man. But okay, um... Let's see here. I guess we'll go towards Sam. Wasn't he the, the guy we talked to in the previous episode? Yeah, it is. What were you thinking? Not you two again. Stupid, Told stupid, you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Guy. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Guess right, and I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Tails. Heads. You lose. <clears throat> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. <laughs> but if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Hmm. <sighs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. A trick coin, huh? Okay. Oh well, uh, I guess we only have one person left to go and talk to, and that's Madame M. So let's see. 
what she has to say. Wow, Johnny sure is everywhere. What the hell? Alright, let's do this. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, for love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. <sighs> uh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... <sighs> hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! <sighs> the strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. <sighs> okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back, and wait. Cloud? Well then, it should go without saying that you get what you pay for. All four fingers at once, quick, and to the point. <clears throat> Little rough. Hmm? They can stop at any time if it's too much to handle. <laughs> Try flexing the muscles. You'll feel the difference. Hmm? Loose and limber. Am I right? Actually, yeah. Okay, that seriously looked like torture, in my opinion. <laughs> oh well, um... What the hell, Cloud? Come on. Talk to me. What the hell are you doing? Flexing, okay. Flexing. Uh, Aren't you going to say something? No, no, there we go. Hmm. Ah. You'll make a habit of it. So hopefully she'll help us now. I, you know what? I do wonder what will happen if we would have chosen the luxury massage. <laughs> oh well. I mean, the standard wasn't that bad of a choice. I mean, we don't have that much. Uh, Gill right now, so that's why it sure shows okay? standard. Yeah. But okay, let's talk to Madame M. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm. Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking get-up. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. 
Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes. For the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. Underground Colosseum. Does sound interesting indeed. So, I, I'm guessing that's kind of like an arena, you know? I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Well then, we can win it all? I guess we'll have some fighting to do. Show. But before that, I, uh, I do hear um some. Okay, we don't have this song. Let me hey see if this guy sells it. Honeybee Inn. Interesting. Thank you very much. So as you guys probably know by now, collecting every single song in this game is a trophy. So I'll try to do my best, you know collect them all on this walkthrough in this walkthrough well we'll we'll probably will you know not a problem at all okay the Colosseum you're here to compete I hope you know you're cutting it really close so the two of you are a team so from what I understand by the way there's nothing missable in this game either I need to get into that audition, You'll be able to, you know, choose chapters once you that beat the game, you, so that's good. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. So we're a team, huh? Okay. Guess we'll go down. We might as well fight. Well, if we do get to fight, down, down, down we we'll go. at least start this arena thing. I'm not sure if it's a cup or something, but you know, if you know if it's multiple fights or not, but we'll give it a go before we wrap things up. Really? You're even more quiet than you. But yeah, make sure to smash that like button, you know, and subscribe of course, and turn on those notifications, guys. You don't want to miss any of my upcoming episodes. And uh, remember to leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about Final Fantasy VII, the remake, so far! In the city that never sleeps! In the paradise of debauchery it's in! The pain and pleasure! Where your every desire can be indulged for the right price! All market! To you esteemed connoisseurs of chaos and bloodshed, we bid you the warmest of welcomes! Are you sitting comfortably? For tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart and or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum! Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents, thoroughly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they have it black. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the gill and the glory. And now, the long-awaited event in which the Bloodstar Beast will battle for your amusement in the Parnas! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes. In tonight's Corneo Well, that was one hell of a nice introduction <laughs> to the Colosseum. Looks awesome. Okay, uh, do we have something in here? Okay, just a restroom, nothing else. Okay. How about this room? Oh, Johnny. 
<laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? So th this is actually the second time we meet this guy. He was back in Sector 7, I believe, the slums. At the early stages of the game, we did save him from pretty much getting killed by some Shinra, uh, well, Shinra soldiers. So yeah. And Aerith, your match will begin shortly. All right. Please make your way to We do have a match indeed. Nice. We're in way too deep to back out now. All right then. Bring it on. Let's go. It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it. And they say you'll be rare to go for All right. hours on end. You know what? Had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. Let's taste it. Why not? How is it? It's thick. But you uh, That like doesn't it so sound much, that good at all. Share, right? <laughs> okay. Let's go. You two ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's do this. Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next best, we welcome two fighters. A young couple, no less. Talking about a bad date? And this is their first tournament. The bad first date? And most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Woo! Dummy bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? <laughs> okay, now I'm mad. Zeracomet, one of Wall Market's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pets make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon dogs of hell, the sanguine stalkers! The blade feast! You brought animals? Oh? First timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We are in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink! Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! Okay, that was just awesome. I love this introduction. This arena thing does indeed look awesome. Best do it right. Okay. Bloodhound. Weakness. Blizzard. Alright. That's it, huh? Oh, nice. We did complete a couple of challenges there. One more shot. Gotta go for it now. Try using it. What the? Leave it to me. Oh, come on. Going in. Okay, this so far has been pretty easy, in my opinion. I mean, we're done already. Beautiful. And the victory pose. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, I'm guessing this is some kind of a cup, you know? This is kind of like, you know, the quarterfinals or something? I don't know. Nice. So that's round one done. Well, that's one win down. Go team! Hmm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Alright. You know what? Uh, I think we'll save the rest for this arena thing. Uh, well, Colosseum thing for the next episode. So we'll wrap things up here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know. Like I said, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon, alright? Take care. Peace. Bye.